Hi, I'm Rick Arnali. Welcome to our next in a series of videos. This is the DOT drag tire test video. I'd like to tell you a little something about the tires that we tested. We baselined our test with a set of BF Goodrich Radial TAs. We tested a set of Hoosier Quick Time Pro tires, a set of McCreary Roadstar tires, a set of BF Goodrich Comp TA Drag Radials, a set of MH Race Master tires, and a pair of Mickey Thompson ET Street tires. Our best times achieved with our DOT street tires will be compared against a set of Firestone off-road drag slicks for a real test. We purchased all our DOT test tires through regular retail channels. These are the same tires available to you through your retail sources. Our video is made completely unbiased. We have rated all the different manufacturers of the tires fairly and the same test was performed on every tire. This is our test car. This is a 1976 Camaro. It's got a 350 cubic inch motor, manual transmission, has mild suspension work in the back, just basically a set of bolt-on traction bars. Got a set of 390 gears in the back. Car weighs in at 3,450 pounds, less driver. I chose a manual transmission car because I wanted to have more control over RPM leaving points and RPM shifting points to really put these DOT tires to the test. Now let's take a look at our test procedures. At this time, all of our tires tested received a minimum of 10 runs each. During these break-in runs, we experimented with tire pressures from a high range to a low range to achieve maximum traction. This tire here is one of the tires we tested down the racetrack. This tire was run in compared to the regular highway tire. Notice the difference in texture of the tread. Notice the rough texture, the way the tire has been run in or scuffed. As you can see, this tire has several thousand street miles on it. Notice the tread surface, it's still quite smooth. Once all of our tires were broken in, we collected data off them in the following manner. I spun the tires in the burnout box just to get the tires a little wet, then drove forward just a bit. This is where I used a line lock to spin the tires at 6,000 RPM during the burnout. Once we started testing, we continued to adjust tire pressures. We started at 22 PSI and raised and lowered PSI by 2 pound increments until we achieved maximum performance traction. After the burnout, I staged the car ready to take a run. I launched the car at 2500 RPM and shifted the car at 6500 RPM. To collect our data for our tire test video, we tested all our tires on the same 15 by 8 rim. To make our life a little easier at the track for video purposes, we mounted our tires on different rims, but they're still using the 15 by 8 rim size. Our first tire in our test is the BF Goodrich Radial TA. The Radial TA is size P27560R15. This is the factory production BF Goodrich Street Radial. As you can see, the construction of this tire is equipped with these large grooves in the center tread of the tire. These are designed to help disperse water trapped in the tread due to wet weather conditions. The construction of the tire consists of two-ply polyester tread accompanied by two steel belts with a two-ply sidewall. This tire has a 400 tread wear. This tread wear is definitely designed with mileage in mind. This was our baseline tire test. This tire was a little tricky to deal with because it was a little harder compound than the other tires tested. So this tire had a tendency to go up and smoke. One thing I'd like to note when you're testing tires, 
you'll want to pay close attention to your 60 foot time, your ET, and your mile an hour. These times will tell you how your car is working. For example, our slowest tire in terms of ET had one of the highest mile an hours. Basically this tells us our combination was making similar power throughout the test. This is another BF Goodrich tire. This is the BF Goodrich Comp TA Drag Radial. This tire is the same size, P27560R15. Notice the similarities between the Comp TA and the regular Radial TA. Both have a straight cut tread design. But notice the tread depth is a lot lower on this tire compared to the Radial TA. Also notice the tread design on the inboard side and outboard sides of the tire. This is designed to enhance traction. This tire has a zero tread wear. Zero tread wear designed for maximum traction indicates it's a very soft rubber compound. The tire is constructed of two ply polyester accompanied by two steel belts with one ply nylon with a two ply sidewall. Traction was excellent on the drag radials. On the one to two gear change, we actually managed to pop the front wheels off the ground a bit. As you can see, we got a real good wrinkle on that drag radial tire. The tire showed definitely maximum traction at this point. Notice the car accelerating and still getting a wrinkle out of the tire. The tire was working very well with our combination. This is a tire I'd like to tell you a little something about because it caught my eye. Maybe it'll catch yours. This tire wasn't tested in our video. This is the Nitto Extreme Drag Radial. This tire size wasn't available in the size that we tested, so we didn't actually use it in our testing. If there's any interest, possibly, in a radial tire shootout, something to consider, maybe, a little, down the road, give us a call. We're going to talk about bias ply tires now. Bias ply tire is basically a different construction of tire compared to a radial tire. Radial tire incorporates steel belts in its construction, where a bias ply tire doesn't. This tire is a McCreary tire. This is the Roadstar. This is an L6015. L6015 is the equivalent to the P2756015. This basically is a dirt tire. It is a dirt DOT tire designed for use with a tube. We recommend the use of a tube when using this tire in this application. McCreary Tire also offers a straight cut tread design on the tread. What also angle cuts in between the tread surfaces. This is designed to enhance traction on dirt type applications. We've used this tire on quarter mile applications and had excellent results with traction. The McCreary Tire is a four ply nylon tire. It is a non radial type tire. This tire has a zero tread wear rating. So this tire is made to run down for maximum traction. As you can see, even though the McCreary's were designed for dirt track and stock car racing, they performed very well on a quarter mile track. Launching the McCreary tires wrinkled the sidewall, which gave us good traction to start. We lost some traction, but we got it right back. Our next bias ply tire we're going to talk about is the M&H Race Master tire. This is the HC10 compound tire. At the time of purchase, 
MNH told us that this was their softest compound DOT street tire available. We use the same size tire being P275-6015 for our comparison testing. The MNH Race Master has a similar tread design compared to the McCreary tire, just not as aggressive. This tire has a four-ply tread construction with a two-ply sidewall. MNH rated their tire with a 10 tread wear. As you can see, the MNH tires also were good performers. We got good traction out of these tires as well. The MNH also wrinkled the sidewall. Traction was good, but we lost a little, but the tires recovered well. Our next tire I'd like to talk about is the Mickey Thompson ET Street Tire. Mickey Thompson's version of their DOT Performance Street Tire. The size we use as far as baselining was a P275-6015 on all our other tire tests. This particular tire by Mickey Thompson was not available in that size. So we actually measured a tire and we selected a 28 by 11 and a half 15 inch tire for our test. The Mickey Thompson tire has a very similar tread design to an off-road drag racing slick. The Mickey Thompson has three grooves cut in the tire that makes it a DOT legal tire. The Mickey Thompson ET Street Tire is a tube type tire. The tire has a four ply tread design with a two ply sidewall. This one is with the Mickey Thompson tires. The Mickey Thompson surprised us. Gave us a little wheel stand off the line displaying good starting line traction. Like the other tires tested, we also wrinkled the Mickey T's. We lost a little traction, but still managed to carry the front wheels. Also, we popped the wheels off the ground again on the second gear shift. Our last tire I'd like to talk to you about that we tested is the Hoosier Quick Time Pro Tire. Just like the Mickey Thompson tire, this was not available in the size that we use as our baseline testing. So in actual measurements, we chose a 27 by 10 and a half, 15 inch tire size for our test. The Hoosier tire, just like the Mickey Thompson tire, does offer a slick type tread design. Hoosier uses two thin grooves in their tire to make their tire a DOT tire. The Hoosier Quick Time tire is also constructed of a four ply tread with a two ply sidewall. The last DOT tire we tested are the Hoosiers. The Hoosiers showed us outstanding performance. This tire also wrinkled and gave us excellent traction by not breaking loose and really hanging in there for this torturous test.
This tire I'd like to talk about is not a DOT tire. This is the tire that all the DOT tires we've tested are up against. This is a Firestone Firehawk. This is an off-road drag racing tire. Off-road means this is not designed for any highway use at all. This is strictly a drag race tire. The Firestone Firehawk tire was not available in our baseline size, just like our Mickey Thompson and Hoosier tire. In actual size and measurements, we chose a 28 and a half by 10 and a half by 15 inch drag slick for our ultimate comparison testing. As you can see, the Firestone off-road drag slick basically has no tread design. This is unlike any of the other tires that we have tested. There's a small hole here, which is a wear indicator hole. Basically, this tells you how much tire life you have left in your race slick. The Firestone Firehawk, like other off-road drag slicks, are strictly a directional tire. The tire is made to be rotated in one direction and one direction only. The side wall is designed as a wrinkle wall, which is designed for maximum traction. The Firestone Firehawk tire is also a tube type tire. This tire is made and designed to run with a tube. This is the tire that all the DOT tires are up against. The Firestone Drag Slick. Notice the launching power of this off-road racing slick. Through my drag racing experience, what we're looking at here is 100% traction with a stick shift car. Notice the tire wrinkle as the car accelerates off the starting line. This is displaying 100% traction. This is the second quickest tire that we tested. This is the BF Goodrich Comp TA Drag Radial. I was very impressed with the radial tire technology. The ET and mile an hour that we achieved with this tire was incredible. In the future, if there is strong interest, we would consider doing a radial tire shootout. This is the quickest tire tested with our combination. This is the Hoosier Quick Time Pro Tire. Frankly, I was very surprised on how competitive all the other tires were. The Hoosier Quick Time Tire was just this much faster than the rest. I got some video I have to show you. Take a look at this. On the last day of photography, we finally got away from watching the rear tires and pulled back just a bit to watch the car work. From a driver's point of view, we never get to see how the car works looking through the windshield. So this was a real treat for me to see. This is our fastest run made on the Hoosier tires. This pass we ran 1233 at around 109 miles an hour. Just look how good these tires ran for us. Wow, look at that second gear shift, outstanding. <laughs> 